drag queen won't perhaps you up, yeah Is there a point to all these fancy clothes? With all these buckles from your head down to your toes I'm Callista Solon, and you're watching NLC Trans. Tonight, I'm here with my dear friend and usual co-host, Tara Alexander. And back by popular demand, we have my other dear friend and co-host, Stacy Dozier, who hopefully um, is going to be with us now on a regular basis. That's my plan. Yep. Cool. So that'll be good. So there's going to be three of us for a while here. So that's, that's a good thing. So we'll have three times as much to talk about. <laughs> Anyway, um, we got some calendar events um, coming up. There's, there was one thing I wanted to talk about, but um, sure. I wanted to talk just briefly about the, sure. and probably discuss with you guys, the Mike uh, Penner thing, um, Mike Penner, Christine oh. Daniels thing, which yeah. something we've, we've wanted to talk about for a while and just haven't had a chance. Um, right. Mike Penner died um, back in November. Um, and that was, um, that was a really an, an awful thing. Mike Penner was a, um, for those of you that don't know, was a sports writer for the LA Times and um, died at the uh, age of 52. Um, Mike had, um, had come out, uh, I think, about two years ago. Right, so um, transitioned and then detransitioned. That's yeah. a terrible term. Yeah, we don't. I, yeah. yeah, transitioned and then transitioned back. And right. Yeah. It's. And then killed him, killed, I want to say killed herself because, you know, my, my, my uh, instinct on this says that the, this, this whole thing was, um, and we've talked about this a little bit, was that um, my transition to become Christine Daniels and did this publicly. Yep, Christine and, um, wrote an article as a, as a sports writer to, in the newspaper about what was happening and um, expressed her interest and in her desire, her plan to transition, and then like you said, about two years later, very quietly switched back to using the Mike Penner byline on the stories. Yeah, and we, we um, can't help but wonder if, um, if this was a result of her not getting enough support. Um, and shortly after that, um, she killed herself. And, and uh, you have to wonder, you know, what, exactly what happened there. Obviously, um, uh, we don't really know all the answers to that. but. Right. But it, it seems to me that it makes sense that uh, that uh, Mike transitioned right. to Christine to be happy, and then unfortunately wound up transitioning back right. and was miserable and, and um, okay. killed herself. I can only look at it from from my perspective, and not knowing what was going on in Mike's head, I can only relate by knowing what was what would be going on in my head. I'm not male. If I was forced to live as male again, I wouldn't make it. Yeah, I wouldn't. I, I, for one way or another, I'd be I'd be gone. Yeah. So I mean. Yeah, of course we're just speculating, obviously, on what sure. happened to uh, to Christine, Mike, uh, Penner, Christine right. James. But um, but I think my gut says that that's what happened. That. Um, that this was just an unfortunate side effect of, uh, of uh, sort of having a little bit of celebrity. If you yeah. have enough celebrity, you can sort of withstand it, but a little bit of celebrity opens you up to a lot of public scrutiny and ridicule. Yeah. And apparent rumors are that while a lot of the uh, people that wrote into the newspaper 
were very supportive of mm -hmm. Christine transi Christine's transition, um, that there were a lot of um, um, staff and co-workers and people throughout her life that were not as supportive as the majority of the readers. Yeah. Do you think that's because of, well, she was a sports writer. Do you think it, <clears throat> that particular genre made her more susceptible to mm. criticism? It's, I, I don't possibly. Um, certainly, we've talked about. You know, you've mentioned that there are certain sports bars you don't want to go in after a right. certain time, sure, because of the atmosphere in the bar, the people that you're likely to run into, and you know. So certainly, there's there's some sense yeah. out there. Yeah, certainly. Um, yeah, it's kind of kind of generalizations, but obviously generalizations come from somewhere. Yeah, so, right. You know, there's always got to be a thread of truth. Um, just a, a horrible, horrible, um, unfortunate situation. And, um, 52 years old. Yeah. I was angry and hurt, and not angry at, at Mike, but angry that this could happen, and, and, and hurt because I know, <clears throat> I know about the pain. Yeah. 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 And, and we know someone here in the local Connecticut community who was friends um, with yes. Mike and Christine. And, um, she was saying that um, when Christine re uh, transitioned back to Mike, Mike withdrew from the trans community. He stopped mm -hmm. talking to a trans friend, stopped participating in the trans community entirely, and shortly thereafter apparently committed suicide. Yeah. Anyway, a horrible thing, and, uh, and uh, obviously we're dismayed by that. And our thoughts and prayers go out to... Uh, um, Christine and her family. Yeah. Yeah. And it's regardless of what you're struggling with, it sort of highlights the importance of having a support system. Yeah. It does. Uh, people that you can rely on, that you can call on when times get tough. Yeah. Mm. We, are, we are in a small community. I think we have to reach out to each other and then, and then be there as we're going through this stuff. It's... Yeah. Yes, indeed we do, and, I, and that's sort of why we're here. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> so, that's our job. Hopefully. Um, yeah, to, let, to be a beacon and let, I mean, yeah. let people know that you're not alone. Yeah. And we understand. Yeah. And, and we're here. If there's anybody out there that's, you know, needs a shoulder to lean on, we're here. And we, we've talked... Um, at length sometimes about our transitions and the the support systems how supportive most of our friends and family have been you know and trying you know it's as you said it's not hard to imagine without the support of your friends and family without the support of those closest to you how difficult that could be how difficult it could have made it you know mm -hmm. it, it, as, as you said it, it it's it, it makes sense we don't know why um, Christine didn't leave any any note. There's no, there was no explanation as to why. But yeah, and this is, <clears throat> you know, this is something that this isn't a unique situation. Certainly, um, a lot of uh, people in this community commit suicide. Mm -hmm. um, it's just um, that, that um, Mike Penner, Christine Daniels. Um, I want to say Christine because I believe that's that's correct in this case. But, right. Um, was certainly more visible than this, most. Actually. This is tragically common in our community. I've, yeah. I've read of statistics that say, and I think we've all read the statistics yeah. that say, by 20 <clears throat> years old, um, half of us report w at least one good faith effort at suicide. By the time we're 30, about 30% yeah. of a third of us succeed. And we <coughs> certainly know people here locally in Connecticut who are, um, have started down the road to transition and have run into complications, usually in the work environment, mm -hmm. and in some cases have stepped back. And that